Skibbity Toilet Episode 69 Part 2 is finally here. Will the cameraman survive? I guess we're gonna have to find out. Now, at any point you've missed any of these crazy new Skibbity episodes, I'm gonna fill you in real quick and catch up because as you can see, the secret agent finally made contact with the cameraman and it's been absolutely ridiculous because he teleports away. Then right after that, we go right into the next episode that we see the Humvee going towards the Skibbity Toilet Headquarters. This Humvee is the one that we've all come to love and of course know that it gets into a major altercation with a Skibbity policeman. Now there was a massive battle all throughout this area. Tons of cameramen went down, tons of Skibbity toilets went down, and it was absolutely insane. This police toilet absolutely destroys one of our cameramen, but we shoot him out of the sky, and we miss our first RPG, and then our second RPG gets a direct hit. He flies away, but then loops back around and gets obliterated in just a few seconds. But as you guys know, we've had some major upgrades as the cameraman. We now have jetpacks, RPGs, and so much more in our arsenal. But that doesn't stop there because as you guys know, the Skibidi Toilets also have major upgrades to their arsenal. They have tons of new mutant Skibidis. And of course, if you've been watching this entire series, you know that's nothing new. We also have the camera titan and the speaker titan that were very badly damaged in the last fight against G-Man and the scientist Skibidi. But of course, this episode only gets crazier because in season 22, this is by far the most intense season we've had of Skibby Toilet because the mutant Skibbities keep getting crazier and crazier with brand new upgrades. And of course, the Titans being so badly damaged, there was a point where everybody was shaking in their seats, worried about what was going to happen because at this very moment, we finally saw the teleportation and introduction of the scientist Skibbity. Now, at this exact moment, we noticed, holy, our Titans are very badly damaged with the missing arm, missing turret guns, and so much more like blasters. The Speaker Titan and the Camera Titan were not in tip-top shape to take on the Scientist Skibbity. But we ended up doing some serious damage to this guy. As you can see, we did some work, but he also damaged us very badly. We even hit him with the pulse beam that allowed us to blow up his toxic barrels. And then we got hit in the chest, which did a direct damage effect to our speaker titan. Every step of the way, the titans were taking major L's. And so they received backup from our good friend, Elite Plungerman, in the glitch mobile. But he was taken out by the speakers on Scientist Gibbity, and he blew up. Now, that's something you never want to see from the Elite Plungerman going down. And G-Man arriving at this very moment, all upgraded, was also the worst thing that could have possibly happened to our Titans. We even got tv yeah. Our camera Titan got tv and he got obliterated. Well, technically, he sort of got like pulled to chop his head off, but Speaker Titan came and saved the day. Like seriously saved the day. And as you guys know, in the past, the camera Titan did the same thing for Speaker Titan, saving the day. I don't know why Speaker Titan just didn't stab the, the TV like right away, but overall, we took a lot of damage to both Titans. Speaker Titan and Camera Titan almost got destroyed. I'll say we almost lost. And if it wasn't for us shooting the TV and then getting him distracted, we would have lost both Titans because that's when TV Titan arrived and literally saved the day. Like, how much better timing could it be that we just got the TV Titan, which we hadn't seen in 20 plus episodes. He hadn't been here in 20 plus, like four, episode 47, I think, was the last time we saw the TV Titan. And then this was episode 67, I believe, or 69, which made this even more epic because, dude, when he walks out with his brand new sword, he completely destroyed the scientist Skibbity. And when I first saw this, I was like, dude, the TV Titan is destroying the end game boss. This is the Skibbity boss, right, guys? Wrong. This actually isn't the real scientist Skibbity. It's a mutant. It's a robot. It's a fake. Just like the G-Man was in the past, a robot mutant. This was the same thing, dudes. This wasn't the scientist Skibbity that made all the mutant Skibbities that we thought like overall was happening. So this is where things get a little scary because TV Titan knows that everyone's very badly damaged. You can literally see all the Titans are super hurt. And G-Man returns with an arsenal of enemy combatants. 
He literally returns with all his friends and family. And that's when TV Man goes berserk. He literally launches into combat and takes out all the mutant skibbities for us to go ahead and infiltrate the base. We know what to do. That's our message. That is the real scientist skibbity. So we believe. And it's at that moment, he flies away and goes to the headquarters. And that's when we chase after him. But it's not until here we realize, uh-oh, we won't be able to get everybody involved, but we'll be able to get enough cameramen to launch a full assault into the Skibbity headquarters. And boom, elite cameraman is still alive. The elite plunger man is alive and we've got his plunger ready for action. At this moment, we have a crew strong enough to attack the headquarters of the Skibbity toilet. But do we actually? I don't think so. So let's see what happens next. As you can see, the cameraman comes up with his hands and says, hey, watch this. This is the iPad footage of what is to come. Now, we have not seen this area yet. You can see all the different hallways, everything that we can prepare for, but we have not seen those levels. We have not seen any of that yet, which makes me wonder, is episode 69 part two Finally, the episode we're on the last level and get to see what is to come. Let's find out. As you can see, we've got some seriously busted up skibbities and the cameramen are doing a really good job at flushing all these low level skibbities, even plundering some. But there's a lot of Easter eggs in this video I want to talk about and showcase to you guys before we showcase episode 69 part two. You can see we have some kind of device. That device is a device that the secret agent gave us to infiltrate these headquarters. All these guys have cell phones. You can see this guy has a cell phone. The secret agent gave us a very similar device, which is like a cell phone to infiltrate this base, which makes me wonder, is the secret agent behind all of this? This entire secret headquarters base has something very weird about it. And we're gonna showcase what that weird thing is very, very soon. Keep an eye out for the floor. You guys can see the floor is very, very clean. It's awkwardly clean, right? You can see there's skibbities on like a factory. They're being created. They're being made into the, the upgraded mutant skibbities. They're getting the toxic barrels and the jetpacks added to them by the engineer skibbities. And of course the cameraman wants to shoot them with the RPG. And we start having a transmission error and recording error meaning that we are not sending this information back to the guys on the outside. Once we stepped into that area, we had an error. These are the Breaking Bad characters. And this is where things get really crazy because now everyone knows that we're here. We drop some barrels and we're able to run away. But now, here is the big secret, dudes. The Skibbity Toilets in this headquarters are all upgrades and mutants. We end up losing our big cameraman, but this guy is a mutant skibbity as well. You can see he looks pretty evil. He's not going to give up very easily. And you can see we also lost a good member of the camera fighting alliance. We went ahead and he gave us his protective lens and he says, keep it, remember me. And he, you know, he, he gets eliminated. But that's not where his story ends because now we only have about seven or eight cameramen left in this group and two speaker, one elite, one non-elite. This is when we get to the last level of the Skibbity headquarters. And this is where things get really insane. Episode 69 starts off with a jump scare. As you can see, it's pretty spooky, but you gotta remember, we also have new upgrades. While we were going down in the elevator, you can see we upgraded our plunger. And on top of that, we also got Wolverine claws and the speaker, well, elite speaker man, you know, still pretty strong. He's not able to get uh, infected by the parasite. Now, this is where things get creepy, guys. Remember, earlier I said there's been some weird things happening. These are all the mutants that were left behind. And if you look on the floor, on this floor right here, everything is dirty. On top of that, there is, for the first time, human bodies. That's right, dudes. It is rumored to believe that the skibbities that you see in this base were once all human. It is possible that humans created the Skibbity Toilets in this underground factory. The secret agent was involved in creating these Skibbity Toilets. And now we have this very weird, eerie area to make 69 part one. Now, this is our first look ever at a mutant Skibbity with 
robotic arms and unaffected by the paralysis beam. On top of that, strong enough to withstand a straight dagger to the head. And he's got metal arms. But that doesn't stop there because we've got brand new baseball bats and they've got brand new mutant skibbities. We have unlocked all the doors with the secret agent technology. And you can see there's about seven uh, skibbities. We're, 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 uh, we're closing all the doors. Michael Jackson's there. We got these two speakers who dance. Why are you dancing in a skibbity headquarters? You see, you see how dumb that is, guys? You see how dumb that is? That That is what happens when you dance too early. Now, this is where 69 part one ended. It's us going into this door. You can see we have the electronic device. We have these two cameramen. And unfortunately, dude, we've got to close the door. If we wouldn't have closed the door, we would have for sure got eliminated too. You can see that we are very upset with, with the elite speaker man. And this is elite plunger man punching him right now. We are in the POV of the elite plunger man. And at this very moment, you realize there's a whole army outside this door waiting for us. That is a reinforced door. And there's officially only five cameramen left to take on the last level of the headquarters. And wait, what, what's happening? The transmission. Wait, what? Wait, we're back outside. I forgot. We were watching in the POV of them through the TV. Oh no, dudes. The Titans are hurting, but wait, reinforcements are arriving. Yo! Wait, we got upgrades. Oh, we got big boy upgrades. Oh my. Oh yes. Okay, and wait, the TV man is fixing his core reactor, dudes. He's charging it up. Okay, but wait, we gotta find out what he's saying here. He's saying something in reverse, and we're going to find out what he's saying right now. But wait, he's like, yo, what about me? Can I get some of that? And he's like, eh, eh, not for you, bucko. Okay, now TV man's teleporting away, and cameraman, wait, camera titan's flying away. But wait, why didn't speaker titan get any cool upgrades besides his blasters back? Oh, jeez. Okay, we've got a lot of reinforcements. New blasters, new, holy smokes! We got new technology and we, oh, and we got our own backpack with, oh, yeah, oh, oh, yes. Oh, yes. So watching it back in reverse, you can see everyone's going back to their positions, but we're here to hear one thing. And that's what the Titans are saying to one another. Now, Speaker Titan doesn't say anything. Camera Titan says something. And I know TV Titan for sure says, what does he say? He says no to, to Speaker Titan. Remember, he wanted upgrades to his, and they said no. And he says, wait for it. Yeah, let's demolish this place. That 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 text is correct. And then he repairs him. And then before he repairs him, he says, stand still. So he says, stand still. He repairs him and then says, let's demolish this place. But what did the TV say when we were looking at the POV camera right at the beginning of the episode? I think he says something to us. He says, okay, finally. Or he says another word that I'm not gonna say here. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This episode was actually insane. We went through the entirety of what has happened and I am mind blown. Holy.